Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to move into Tier 4. But I have a lot to update you guys on uh, first. So, you can see that I have expanded the base. This is probably going to be the size of the ground floor, but I am going to do a second floor as well, and probably a balcony, too. Uh, so, we expanded the base, and I have some new stations. So, let's say we put a cabinet in. I've got the advanced textiles bench made. I have a biofuel composter, a glass working bench, and I think that's all the new stuff that I've made since the last episode. Everything else I think we already had. Um, out here, we have a couple of critters. Um, so first of all, this critter is Buddy 2.0. Yes, unfortunately, the original buddy was eaten by a jaguar because um, the jaguars uh, were able to jump up onto the island over the ledge and I was out cutting wood or something and they came back and buddy was dead. Uh, so very sad. So now we have a buddy 2.0 and we also have a new emu and his name is Liberty Mutual. <laughs> and I have discovered after taking liberty mutual out on a mining expedition that i really like this this tame um he can't carry a whole lot oh speaking of which i think he's got some stuff in his inventory we gotta pull it out but he's really fast and so i can load myself up on ore and i can put two stacks of ore in him and come back and he's just he's so much faster you know than buddy even though buddy can hold a lot more um, I did take Buddy 1.0 out with the cart, and we got a massive, massive load of ore, and that was cool. But, you know, he's really slow, and of course we got attacked, and so I had to defend him and stuff. And we, we still might, you know, do that with Buddy 2.0 at some point if we really want to get, like, a huge load of, say, like, wood or stone. But um, I really like actually using Liberty Mutual here because cause he's just really fast, so we can move quickly. We can outrun anything that might be chasing us if I decide not to stop and kill it. And so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I had to put the, these defenses up all the way around um, the perimeter here to prevent these guys from getting at while I'm away. So that is pretty much the update on all of that. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to make ourselves a fabricator. I believe I have all of the material now to do that. So let's run over here, and we're going to grab a couple stacks of aluminum. Put those in there. Uh, I've been making electronics, so we have 73 electronics. Okay, what else do we need for this? Uh, we need 30 concrete mix, and I have 49 in here. So let's split that in half, and we need... Uh, you know what? Screw it. I'm just take the whole thing. Okay, so we've got the concrete mix, and let's see, we need carbon fiber. I've been making carbon fiber. We, uh, we'll go over our, our blueprints and talents, and in fact, we have some more to spend, too. Okay, we got the carbon fiber, and we need some screws, so we'll just make uh, those right now. And now we can make the fabricator. Fantastic. That was a bit of a grind to get to that, but we finally got to it. And this opens up tier four for us, for those of you who may not know. All right, let's put this down here. So we're going to put the fabricator right... Well, I, hmm. I guess we could put it there for now. The, I, I'm planning on putting the kitchen stuff here, though, uh, this, the stove and all of that. Maybe what we do with the fabricator then is... I, I mean, I'm going to have a second floor, so ultimately we'll have room for everything, but I just don't at the moment. Well, we have the fabricator now. We don't have the kitchen stuff yet. So we're just going to put it here, and then you know, I'll move stuff around later as we continue to expand. Beautiful. Okay. The very first thing we're going to do is do the titanium pick. Um... So, oh, darn it, I could have been, I could have been smelting titanium. Okay, wait a minute, I should have some titanium. I did mine some up, what happened to it? 
I don't know what happened to it. I just mined up a little bit. Um, it's not in there. It's not in there. All right, let me let me look for it and see if I can find it because I don't know what the heck I did with it. Okay, so I seem to have lost my titanium. So uh, I might have actually left that back at the other cave. It's the only thing I can think of. But we we need twelve in total, and it's probably a five to one ratio, just like it is with a platinum. I'm assuming titanium. Yeah, five to one. So we need 60, a total of 60 to make the titanium pick. So I think what we're going to do then, that being the case, is we're going to hop on Liberty Mutual. And we're going to run back over to that other cave. And I got something very, very cool to show you guys too that I discovered and did not know that it was there until I discovered it. So let's get, um, let's get our air replenished. Let's get our uh, lantern topped off uh, we got a storm coming in okay that kind of sucks as usual it always does uh, what else we, oh yeah let's go out here oh the other thing I did is I started a, a little garden here uh, nothing fancy but just enough so that we can sustain you know uh, all of the main vegetables and I don't have to keep going out for them. Um, so, yeah. They're, they're not fertilized or anything fancy. It's just the most basic level one, but at least it gives us sustainable veggies. All right, let's drink from there to top our water off. Run back in here. I don't know if Liberty Mutual... Mutual? <laughs> it's going to get slowed down. That's just, I don't know. I get a kick out of that. Anyway. Uh, it's going to get slowed down by the storm or not. I guess we could test that theory. Um, I'll still take exposure damage, but as long as he doesn't slow down, it's not probably not going to be that big of a deal. Now, the only thing I can think of is uh, that I left that titanium that I mined in our original cave. Um, yeah. Because if I would have had it here, I would have... I would have already smelted it. And I just didn't think about it. So, uh, we're smelting... Uh, actually, we're smelting nothing at the moment because we need some fuel in there. Okay, let's put some wood in there. Uh, but we have some more uh, platinum in here. And one of the things we're going to need to make is we're going to need to make this platinum weave in order to then make the uh, cured leather armor, the hardened leather armor, whatever that stuff's called. Um, all right, so... Throw that down there. Uh, we should have some white meat in here that we cooked up. Uh, we'll put that um, actually here. Let's just create places with the fatty T-bone. Well, okay. While we're waiting for the storm, um, let's look at talents and tech. So I've got three points. We're currently halfway through level 33. Um, and since we're now into tier four, I've already learned the fabricator obviously in the pick um, so the, the next thing we want to shoot for is at uh, shoot see what I did there <laughs> uh, is the hunting rifle um, so we're gonna do that the vapor condenser can be used on a geyser we have the biofuel generator uh, the titanium knife we're definitely gonna want oh uh, the machete we can actually use the machete as both a weapon and as a sickle so that's gonna be kind of nice um, and then combat knife, 175 yield and 65 melee. Two, two, oh yeah, we definitely want to get the titanium knife ultimately. And then um, we'll probably also make ourselves a stack of say like 20 titanium arrows. The composites are better, but they're super expensive. 5% projectile break chance, 10% projectile break chance. Yeah, so, okay, we have a lot of stuff um, in this tree that we need to learn. But I'm not going to bother with the sickle because, here again, uh, this will double as a sickle and a weapon. But it's not going to do the same damage. It, it does 70 melee damage versus... Well, it's actually pretty close, but it doesn't give us the... 
Oh man, that's actually a lot closer. Maybe we'll just make this and call it good. Um, yeah, maybe we will. But before we spend those points, there's still some stuff in tier three, you know, that we need, that I want to get to, like the kitchen stuff, for example. So let's look through this really quick. Uh, we want to get, we're going to want to get the lights. We're going to want to get the, the uh, antibiotic pills. We want to get jam and that sort of thing. There's just a lot of stuff left yet for us to get, for sure. Um, alteration vents. Oh, yeah. So this is the cured leather armor. And that's what we need that uh, platinum weave for. And we're going to have to, I believe we're going to have to get a drying rack in order to make the cured leather itself. And that's actually back in tier one. So let's do that. Let's grab the drying rack. Uh, there's probably not a whole lot more in tier one that we actually need or want. Yeah, okay, so, uh, and then, if we go to tier three now, I'm just looking through tier two here again, we probably, we, you know, we'll eventually want to get the composter and probably the skinny bench, but neither one of those are, uh, are, you know, high priority items in, until I can expand the base. We don't want to, uh, you know, we don't want to get that kind of stuff yet. So let's go back to tier three. Uh, we have one point. So I think what we'll do with it, that one point is let's learn the biofuel s stove. Well, we're going to need the cans. Yeah, let's. we're going to need the cans. Let's just learn the cans. And then on the next level, we'll probably go after these kitchen items. Okay, talents. We have uh, one normal talent point. As far as solo talents goes, this is what I got so far. I put a, pal uh, a point in fleet footed. And I'll probably put the second point in that, too. Uh, we're, we're maxed out on the archery and the gun uh, solo talents, so that's good. Uh, now, if we go back to here, we are currently working on this gun stuff. So, uh, sh this is the critical damage with guns. Chance to not consume ammo. Um... Yeah, so this is the one I really wanted to, to max out here. 15% critical damage with firearms is going to be good. We got something going on out here? Yeah, something's caught up in a fence. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's dead now. Those spikes will do a number on those dudes, but we do have to keep them repaired. Uh, so let's grab our uh, hammer. And just touch up whatever what's going on out here. Oh, it was another buffalo. Oh, look at that. Okay. Um, that's not really damaged. This is. Not majorly. Okay, well, since these guys gave us free meat and hide and all that delivery. I think this storm gauge is messed up. I've been having some glitchy stuff happen in the game. Uh, nothing game-breaking. But just weird stuff like the storm meter, for example. Oh, look at that. Ten gamey meat. That's really good. We will cook those up. We could... Yeah, let's leave that pig alone. we got plenty of bacon for now. Don't go out there. It's dangerous. All right. We'll throw the gamey meat in here. As usual, we'll turn the normal meat into uh, fat for cooking. Did we get our other lantern out of there? Yeah, we did. Okay. All right, let's see. What, what were we doing? <laughs> oh, yeah, we were looking at talents. So, yeah, we just took that. So, we are good to go on points and talents. And like I said, we're halfway through thirty level 33. Okay, so we have to go round up 60 titanium ore. That is the next thing on the agenda. And like I said, we're going to take Liberty Mutual uh, out with us because he is just amazingly fast and a lot more useful than I thought he was going to be. Um, he's no good for combat, of course, but, but you know, just for getting around, um, he's really good. Really good for that reason. So, yeah. Okay, let's grab our lantern. I just wanted to top it off here. And we... Did I get my my air tank? I didn't. Okay. 
Grab the air tank out of here. Okay, let's go. I wish you could open the gate uh, while you were mounted. Here, you stay there. Okay, yeah, you go out there. Don't go too far. All right, let's go. Yeah, as long as you don't run out of stamina in these things, um, you, you, nothing's going to catch you. Um, and, and there are there are some um, skills in the husbandry tree that will allow you to increase your mount's stamina and health and that sort of thing, uh, which is really cool. So he doesn't have a lot of stamina, but even you know even when he's walking, I mean. This is his walk speed. That's still really fast. That's at least as fast as I can sprint, if not faster. Okay, anyway, let's go back to our original cave. And I hope that that titan... I got a little weird graphic or, yeah, glitch thingy going on. But I hope that that... Uh, um, what in the world? Hold on a sec. There's, there's like, look at those colors off in the forest. That is weird. Yeah, just weird graphic stuff. They, they still have a lot of work to do on this game, you know, from a performance and an optimizing standpoint. There's no doubt about it. It's a good game though. So enjoying it. Yeah, look at this guy move, man. He can scooch. <laughs> there we go. Here's our original cave down here in the forest that burnt down. I haven't been back here in a while, actually. Okay, so um, we're going to have to make sure here wait what no i want you to i want you to follow me there's a bear over there we're gonna i don't want him to come over i gotta go in the cave and he's not gonna be able to follow me well i don't think he can follow me now let's deal with this bear so he doesn't become a problem uh i don't see him now oh there he is He doesn't even know where I'm at. Oh, now he does. Okay. Bears down. The pig will probably go over and eat him, which is fine. Oh, here comes a jag. Man, it's so laggy. Another jag. You too? Him too. All right. I think that clears the area of immediate predators except for this. Yeah, he's dead now, too. All right. Just stay put. I won't be in here for very long. In fact, I might have even put that in here. Ah, I did. Okay. Titan, let's grab this copper ore whilst we're in here, too. Um, I might have left a... What else did I leave in here? Yeah, none of that stuff's really that big of a deal. I might have left one node back in here, but I don't want to leave him out here. It's too risky. Even even though we cleared the predators, you know, new ones are gonna come, like those Komodos over there, for example. Okay. Um, let me think about something here. 
I'm going to... I want to get this titanium smelting. So I'm going to run this back to the base. And then I'm going to bring you guys back. We're going to come back over here to the ring link. And i got something really cool to show you. So I'll bring you back in just a little bit. What the? Oh! Didn't even see that guy there. All right, guys. Um, so, I was over here looking for another cave to mine, and I found this enormous pass cave. Pass cave meaning that we can actually get all the way through the mountain and into this desert biome. And there's a ton of ore in here, too. Um, I... I actually mined some of the ore in the early part of the cave. This thing goes way back in here. Um, so let's go ahead and follow it back in. You basically just keep going south. And I, can I get the emu through here? Oh, I can. All right. Last time I came through, I just went out uh, went through on foot because I didn't think I'd be able to get him through there, but he can get through there. And yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of ore in here. And uh, there's a pathway going down that way. So we're already in the desert biome. So check this out. Isn't this awesome? <laughs> you know what this means, too? It means we can grab some squash while we're here and go back to the base and plant some squash. We need to be on the lookout for squash. Uh, all we need is just one plant, and then we can uh, make some pretty, you know, some of the, the dishes that require the squash. But look at that! Well, oh, there's some right there. Fantastic! All right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the desert. So we are not um, totally stuck in uh, in that biome. We don't have to necessarily. Well, I mean, I don't know if we can get out of the desert um, over through here somewhere but we don't necessarily have to you know do the the uh, Zephyr mission now uh, we still we still can and we still probably will just for the hell of it but uh, we don't ne we don't have to at least not to get into this biome and this is really good you know because of, of the resources we can get here the squash in particular um, all right, so let's just walk around a little bit. I'd like to get a little bit more, but on the other hand, how much do I have? We only need one. We have two. We don't want it to go bad, though, is the thing. I almost wonder if... Here, let's just look around this vegetation, and if we don't find another one, we'll head back, just because I want to get this planted before it goes bad on me. Even just finding the one was fortunate, you know. So we'll have, um, you know, we'll definitely have some exploration episodes where we'll come come back here and, and actually explore this biome. But I'm not seeing any more squash. So we probably should get back with what we do have so we can get it planted. And that way we can sustain it. There's only just that one plant, huh? Interesting. So yeah, very cool. We will definitely be coming over here and, and checking things out uh, later on. But let's get back and uh, get that squash planted, and then we'll see where we are with our titanium. It's really light, light in here uh, with our titanium smelting. I'm just looking real quick to see if there might be some possibly in here, but probably not because this is the cave. Really cool, though. I was not expecting this. <laughs> get, get away from there. It's bad for your health. All right. We are back. We need to make... Uh, I'm going to actually make two plots so we can have two things of squash going. 
Uh, so let's see, we need wood and sulfur. We have some sulfur in here, and uh, where do I have wood? In here? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Um, so yeah, with the squash, uh, in here we can make roast veggies. 225 maximum stamina, 10% expo exposed resi resi resistance, and 10% melee damage. That's really good. And um, I know there's... Uh, when we get the stove, there's a like squash pie or something like that, or veggie pie uh, that's even better that we'll be able to make. Okay, so let's run out here. eventually probably you know lay down some foundations and make the um, make the garden look really nice but for now I just you know wanted to get it going so that's not ready to harvest that's not ready to harvest this is what about you um, oh no you're the squash we just put down okay cool all right, let's see how we're doing on our titanium. We have nine uh, made up so far. Okay, so it's working on it. It's 1649. So what I'm probably going to do is sleep through the night, bring you guys back in the morning, uh, and those ingots will be done, and then we will make our titanium pickaxe. So I'll see you in the morning. All right, guys, we have enough titanium now to make our titanium pickaxe. We need, we need a couple of other things as well. Uh, so let's see, we're gonna need four carbon fiber. Uh, we should have those in here. Here, let's just grab all the carbon fiber out of there. Okay, we're gonna need four epoxy and eight steel screws. Let's just make another full stack of screws and we'll keep those in there. And let's see, I got 32 epoxy. Let's split the stack, put 16 of those in here. And here we go. We have now, ladies and gentlemen, made a titanium pickaxe. Isn't it a beautiful thing? Okay, so let's see here. We'll compare the two. The platinum was doing 70 mining radius and 133% yield. This does 75 mining radius and 140 yield. Very nice. And, yep, looks just like I remember it. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, zoom tight. Um, let's go ahead and put the platinum pickaxe in here, and we'll have it uh, as a backup weapon. And um, now, what uh, you know, the next step, of course, is going to be to go back to all of the caves that I've already been to. And um, something going on out here. Nope. You guys good? Anybody, nobody got hit by lightning? How are you doing on your food? Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Um, go, so go back to all the caves I've already been to. Get all the titanium out of there. And then, you know, of course we have that ginormous cave that goes over to the desert that we can mine. And then there's, there's at least one more cave that we haven't tapped into way up here. Um... Kind of up in this area. I'm not. I, I'm not sure about through here. There might be a cave through there too. But I know there's one more cave here. But finding 
the big one that goes to the mountains a and the fact that we can now go into the desert because i'm sure there's going to be a lot more caves in here um opens up a lot more ore for us quit burning down my forest so uh yeah pretty excited about that we are making fantastic progress you guys in this uh in this series We're doing a lot better than uh, i was expecting we do and i'm uh, very happy with how things are going all right well um I think then what uh, we're going to do is we're going to wrap up this episode here. And um, once again, I'm going to uh, just do a bunch of farming and start working uh, into, you know, into tier four. We talked a little bit about what the plan is, but let's go over that again. So um, I'm going to get the biofuel stove and probably the kitchen storage block. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so, so kitchen bench, bio, uh, I'm sorry, biofuel stove, antibiotic pills, uh, we'll get that. Uh, berry jam, we're going to want, and I thought there was a, isn't there like a can or pickled carrot kind of thing? Maybe that's in, in tier four. I don't know, unless they changed something. Marble kitchen. Yeah, there's a lot of new stuff here. Um, so yeah, that's what we're, <coughs> excuse me, looking at in tier three. We'll get some ceiling lights going and we'll get electricity going. I do want to get, oh, um, actually, yeah, we're going to, we're going to grind uh, for the rifle next. So we have everything we need except for the titanium. So we're going to need 40 titanium ingots to get this. Uh, and then we'll get the hunting rifle, which will be fantastic. Um, we're just going to be completely... A beast with it because we've already leveled up all of the gun skills and I will eventually want to get to the recurve bow here in tier 4 and the titanium axe we will go for and the machete like we talked about there's just there's so much stuff here you know I'm, I'm obviously I'm not gonna do all of that off camera but I'm just trying to give you a general idea of what direction I'm gonna be moving in next as we continue to progress um, and I'll tell you what, I am so impressed with the with Liberty Mutual, with the emu, that I might actually put some points into husbandry. Um, so probably 10% yield from foraging. Increased damage from stealth. What does that even mean, though? How does your animal stealth? I, I don't know what that means. Um... That's taming stuff. That's taming stuff. Taming's not that hard, and it doesn't take that long. So, it, I, you know, I hate to waste points on that, but we have to unlock those to get to the lower stuff. Uh, but this hardy diet would be good, and reduce tame creature threat and threat while riding. Yeah, that would be really good too to reduce their their threat, so predators don't hunt them so much. Uh, but there was one that gave them health and stamina, I thought. That gives them more carry capacity. That's not so bad. Here we go. Okay, so Beast Endurance. That would be good to get. Oh, there's one for even faster speed? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Exposure resistance while mounted. Oh, that's good to know. Okay. Nearby juveniles tame faster. I don't care about that so much. So the perceived threat, the move faster, the increased stamina. Um, oh, here we go. Yeah, this is this is the one that increases their health. Hardy diet, right? Wait, didn't we just talk about that? I think so. <laughs> um, so those might be worth getting. Um, they they really might be worth get, uh, getting. And then you know, I mean, all of this stuff is is definitely good and, and super useful. But you're so limited as to what you can do, especially in a single player game that you know we don't need that stuff um in my opinion you know the getting these combat skills especially in the early game anyways you really need that stuff to survive especially on these settings but later on you know we could do a respec too and um you know possibly rethink some of that as time goes on but we'll just kind of see how things go anyway guys i'm gonna let you go here thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment show the video and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.